Time now for the morning rush. A New Mexico police officer is accused of raping a drunk driving suspect while taking her to jail. The alleged victim says that she felt she had no choice, fearing he would add on more charges. The woman who reported the assault says that she was arrested for DWI on the Isleta Pueblo by 22-year-old Leon Martin. Martin said the woman initiated it and that he had a lapse in judgment. Fans looking to attend Lobo games at the pit could face new COVID requirements moving forward. Yesterday, a UNM regent suggested a vaccine requirement or negative COVID test for fans who watch games at the pit. The UNM president says they've been trying to leave the policy up to individual ven venues. No decisions have been made just yet. Erica. Here's a look at the school day forecast. Temps are in the mid 30s this morning, so be sure to wear those warm layers. But will be nice and mild by the afternoon. Highs in the mid 60s with sunshine. A new COVID-19 variant is leading to the White House to take precautionary steps. U.S. officials are expected to require all of those entering the country, including returning Americans, to be tested the day before flights. The president could announce measures as early as tomorrow. Today will be the day three of Jelaine Maxwell's trial in New York City. Yesterday, one of the four alleged victims took the stand to testify. Maxwell was a companion of convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. Prosecutors say the 59-year-old helped Epstein recruit, groom, and abuse young girls from 1995 to at least 2004. Erica. Here's a look at the, the New Mexico threat in index. We are going to see cool temperatures this morning, but other than that, a really quiet day and no issues. Students at a Michigan school are mourning the deaths of three students who were killed during a school shooting. Police say the suspect, another student, used a gun that his dad bought four days prior. More than 100 911 calls poured in, many from Oxford High students who barricaded themselves in classrooms. Former President Trump's White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows is now agreeing to cooperate with the committee. After snubbing the panel for months, he has agreed to hand over some 6,000 emails and give a deposition about the January 6th insurrection. Erica. All right, let's get a check on the traffic this morning. It looks like the maps are clear, no accidents or slowdowns as of now. And here's a check on track going south on I-25 near the Big Eye, looking really quiet. An iconic New Mexico pizzeria is branching off this morning, starting a whole new restaurant. After 43 years, the management team behind Dion's is launching Tula's Kitchen. They will serve classics like chicken sandwiches, salads, and grilled cheese. The restaurant is expected to open sometime next year. The Five Facts coming up in 90 seconds. Time now for the Five Facts. At number five. A friendly, familiar face will greet some of Albuquerque's drivers this morning. This year's tumbleweed snowman is 12 feet tall and 6 feet wide. The local flood control authorities say it was a little difficult finding enough tumbleweeds because of the drought, so he looks a little thinner this year. On to number four. This morning, COVID cases in New Mexico are expected to get worse before they get better. UNM Hospital and Presbyterian are overwhelmed with COVID-19 patients. Presbyterian is treating about 220 COVID-19 patients in their Albuquerque hospitals alone. Most of them are unvaccinated. They expect the holidays to drive those numbers even higher. And at number three, we're going to be warming things back up in the Northeast Highlands and temps across the state will be about 10 to 15 degrees warmer than they should be for this time on December 1st. We'll be making it into the 60s and low 70s. On to number two now, fans looking to attend Lobo games at the pit could face new COVID requirements moving forward. As of right now, there is only a mask mandate for games at the pit. Yesterday, UNM Regent Robert Schwartz suggested a vaccine requirement or negative COVID test for fans who watch games at the pit. UNM President Garnett Stokes says they've been trying to leave the policy up to individual venues. No decisions have been made just yet. We'll let you know if and when they do. On to number one now, New Mexico police officer is accused of raping a drunk driving suspect while taking her to jail. The alleged victim says that she felt she had no choice, fearing he would add charges or worse. The woman reported the assault last week at the hospital, saying that she was arrested for DWI on the Isleta Pueblo by 22-year-old Leon Martin. On the way to jail, she says that Martin pulled his patrol car over into a dark area, and that's where the assault happened. Martin said the woman initiated it and that he had a lapse in judgment. The governor of the Isleta Pueblo says Martin is lo uh, no longer employed with the Isleta Police. If you want to see more details on this case, go to our website. That's always on krqe.com.